Ruth here, and this is um, my crafter's companion craft supplies haul number 54. 54. Pretty sure. Um, this is, uh, I guess you could say, um, this is during the birthday week, and I've already uh, did haul 53, which was one of the orders, was the first order. During that birthday week, that's why there was a free gift. This is the free gift. And, um, I have loads of orders to come. And they will probably split into either their own video or a mash of things. Hopefully, they won't come... Uh, well, they might- some of them might come in with new box, I'm not sure. But, um, they're doing a free shipping thing and consolidating orders. But so far, they haven't done for this one or the other one. I did receive one other thing, but I'll record that later because it is only one thing, and I, yeah, I'll uh, put it in a, I'll uh, open it in an order that doesn't have many things in it, so I can, you know, space them out and the length of each video. Anyway, now that I'm done jabbering on, um, yes, this is, um, yes, not it. <clears throat> This is the mystery gift. It's the decoupage paper pad. The uh, beautiful lilies is what it's called. And it looks like this. So you just cut around it, stick them on, layer them. They do have it numbered one, two, three, four, five. Now to stick on here. This one is just this one. That one is these three. And that one is these three again, just without the top flower. That's the only difference, you know, see? But yes, anyway. Or you can just cut them out individually and just do, you know, like that. I mean, it does have a corresponding die, which I don't have. And I don't see on their website. So. I mean, I am tempted to get that die because fussy cutting all of these seems like a very, very big asshole. And I don't really cut the same, you know. Anyway, yes, so this is the, uh, the freebie. Sure. And then you cut around the edges of the designs using fine tip scissors or use the design together with coordinating die sets available separately. Even has a how to use. Cut out all of the pieces, layer in ascending numerical order using 3D foam pads or glue gel between the layers. So yes. Do that, or just use each individual flower on its own card, which you'll have many to make cards with, because it comes with 48 pages. That's a lot of lilies. Okay, so that's. I'm already almost four minutes in, I've only done the freebie. Oops. Okay, there are a few things I did buy. This bit is from a different thing. Like this has very pretty, like, handing over some flowers, got a world in hands, got with sympathy, thanks, you are my world, love, so you can do with love as well, just for you, and you mean the world to me, sentiments. This is <clears throat> the Sheena Douglas of Mother Earth Homer stamps, you are my world stamp set. That's on the back. So that's one of the things I bought for £2.39. The next thing is this abstract splash stencil, which was £2.40.
Then we have the Opulent Grace 2D Cut and Emboss Folder at three pounds. So it cuts and embosses, embosses this, cuts out the circle on the inside, all at the same time. Oh, that's pretty neat. And the uh, last thing, well, not the last thing, but the last thing I bought that wasn't the goodie bag was, is this 2D embossing folder, classic Hessian. And, uh,. Is part of the textured embossing folder series, but for some reason this one wasn't in there when I bought that uh, collection. Don't know why. Anyway, it was for uh, one pound nineteen. So yeah. So now that you, uh, you can stop wondering, all of this stuff right here was from the Christmas goodie bag, pricing at. $29.99 Okay, so first up Most of these are for free, but whatever. Can't remember which ones you're actually paying for, but Anyway, we've got the 400 piece set of Christmas Stamens from the Christmas Rose collection. Those are it's, it's very pretty packaging Then also from the Christmas Rose collection is This lace ribbon Wishes of Roses, I believe. Very pretty packaging. And this is a new one as well. A recently released collection. And I guess since it's right here. Here is the 50 grams of Yuletide Iridescent Sequins. It's got some blue and green tinge to it. And pink. Probably a lot shinier in person than on the camera, but anyway, is that? Then we have these uh, Heavenly Angel 51 piece um, foam bumper pack. So it's you know basically like double sided foam tape, but one side is. You know, you take off the loose paper on that side, put on some gilding flakes, then take off the loose paper on the other side, and stick it to your card or whatever you're making. So that's pretty cool. It's got different types of stars. It's either a dove or a pigeon, and some angels. So, two different types. Very nice. Even the bird are two different. Two different ones. That's nice. Anyway, next up, since you already sort of said that, this is the uh, tree decoration limited edition from last year. Tree ornament, if you didn't realize. But yeah. That came free. And then we have this one. Which is the 12 Days of Christmas 6x6, 6 6, 180 DSM, 36 pieces. So like, you know, I didn't open this one, but... Designs are a bit more compact. Obviously, because it's a smaller sheet, but... Yes. That's that one. Then we have this chunky ribbon, pink and blue, four piece set. Two meters length, and two inches wide. Two colors, two striped, and two circled. So yeah, not sure what I'm going to use that on, really. Okay, so, next up. Sending Glad Tidings. It's a stamp and die set. It's 
Okay. Then we have the Toy Days of Christmas Partridge in a Pear Tree 2D embossing folder. Personally not a favorite, but I don't have it, so that's a good thing to add to my collection, I guess. And we have a 3D embossing folder, which is Holly Evergreen from the Holly and Ivy collection. I still need to buy that uh, Holly and the Ivy scroll stamp and die set. I'll get to it eventually, maybe. This is a 5.5 by 5.5 inch folder. It's very pretty. Next up, we have this Woodland Embellishments 12 piece stamp and die set. So it's got a die for everything. For the branches, for the two scenery kind of things, and for the stag. Interesting. But I do wonder where that little girl stamp would be. Anyway, here is a Christmas stocking message reveal die. Oh, you could put a gift card on it. So we've got the die for the main mechanism part. We've got a stencil template for the uh, stocking. I'm going to die for a presents and a corner piece, well the patch on the stocking, the ribbon on the present, and joy. Then we have Merry and Christmas to love, peace, and to the world from. That's the sales. Okay. Next up, we have Village of Light. Personally, I think the die set that's like this, but with a church in the middle, would kind of suit a Christmas bundle more a little bit, but this is pretty cool. I mean, I don't have this either, I don't think. So, a brick is made of... A house is made of bricks and beans. A home is made of hopes and dreams. That is pretty sweet. Those are the four dies it comes with. Okay. And last but not least, before my arm gives out from holding, <laughs> we have this very, very pretty gold and silver, so 50 gold, 50 silver, A5 Glitter Pro. Two fifty GSM. Like, I don't know if you really see, but... I sort of see some of the silver through. I don't know if you can, but yeah, it's got both gold and silver. I mean, I did buy, you know, the gold and silver A5 card set, you know, with the glitter matte mirror, mirror. but now I've got an extra one of the uh, glitter version, which is nice. I don't have to worry about restocking this for a while, because I tend to, I don't know, use it sparingly. <laughs> but anyway, I'm oh, sorry, I'm finding some crumbs on my duvet. So I need to throw it before I basically smush it into my duvet. I'm pretty sure it's cinnamon related ones. I had a nice cinnamon roll thing a little bit ago. <laughs> I mean, one could have been a chocolate chip. Um, chocolate cookies. I don't think I they uh um they crumbled anyway. Anyway, yes. <laughs> so I just uh these
these ones will have a Christmas goodie bag. I mean, I don't know if I need to really go over it again, but you know, why not? And then the freebie. So that is all for this one, I believe. I look forward to uh, more opening videos. Don't know how I'm gonna really sort it out. Because <laughs> currently, you saw the last video. And then there's this video. There's one order that only had one thing. I ordered two of the same thing. But I had one thing in it, which I'll open it in, in when. Let's see when. Let's say. One other order I have is when I ordered one thing, I can have put it in there as well. I mean, that's order 71. Uh, let's see, yeah, what I'm referring to is order 66. This one was order 67, by the way. The one from the previous video was order 64, which was the uh, first order during this birthday celebration event. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen in total so far. The birthday event lasts for three more days, and I'm planning to get tomorrow's release, and hopefully maybe the release after that. Don't know if we'll get anything on Sunday, because I don't know what's going to be on Sunday. If it's anything new, or anything else on sale. But, for now, there's going to be at least one or two more orders, then I'll be finished. <laughs> well, you know, for this event. <laughs> yeah. So be looking forward to putting these in uh, some snow related shaker cards or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but those are good for shakers because they even include the uh, small circles that were inside the, uh, the sequin holes. That's also why I don't really like using sequins so much because glue just oozes out of there anyway. It like, has little holes that were inside. Anywho, I kind of want to get the die for this because Cutting this out by hand, I'm not looking forward to that at all. So let's hope. <laughs> let's hope it gets back in stock or something. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Almost 18 and a half minutes. So thank you for watching. Oh, we're not. <laughs>